we're going to install ceramic tile on this walkway. You're going to find that it's going to be easy to do, it's going to be fun to do, it's going to make your backyard look like a million bucks. Let me show you how. Now what we wanted to do was to match the pattern of the tiles up here on the patio to the pattern that we're going to have out here on the walk. Our first step was to pour the walk exactly 30 inches because we knew that that would accept the pattern. And our first step is a process that we call dry fitting. Now dry fitting means that we're putting our pattern down before we put any of the mortar down. And this is a really good idea because if there's any variance in here and you have to make a cut, it's best to cut before you have the mortar. Here's another good idea. We made a drawing here to show. It's sort of like a road map for us to follow. You can't go around and trace the things because your marks are going to be covered up by the mortar. So this is a really good way to go. What we're doing now is putting spacers in between here. This is going to assure us that we have a consistent grout line size throughout the whole pattern. You know, this is a bigger job than I think I want to tackle. I'm going to get my friend Roger to come help. Roger! How are you doing, Al? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming over. Looks like you got all your spacers in real nice. Yeah. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? We don't we want to a, hear that. We've got a problem here. Oh, Grout yeah. line, if you want to be consistent here, we're going to have to make a cut in the back. Yeah, it looks like about a quarter inch off there. And I've got the uh, wet saw up there with your name on it. Will you take care of that for me? Sure. Thanks, Roger. Now, Roger, I'm just noticing that we're going to have to cut a whole lot of tiles all along that wall. Can you set this up so it'll be consistent? Sure, Al. This got a, comes with a rail and adjusts right on down. And we need a quarter inch off that tile. We just set it at a quarter inch, make this cut, and we should be consistent all the way down. Go for it. So how's it going to fit, Roger? It looks great, Al. You're going to have a nice, consistent grout line all the way through. Way to go. Now that we've removed all of the tiles, we're ready for the mortar. Hey, that looks good, Roger. We're using a quick set mortar, and the reason we're doing that is because we want to finish this in a day. If this is the first project you've ever done, or if you're a novice, why don't you use the regular mix? It lets you have a little bit more time to see that you get it done right. The big disadvantage is that you have to wait 48 hours before you grout. With this, we're going to get it done quickly. After you spread a smooth coat of mortar over a short segment of your walkway, just relay the tiles to match your dry fitting. Continue working down the walkway and remember to use your spacers so you have a nice, consistent grout line. Al, what do you need there? Well, I think the next thing we need is, is a six inch, right? Six inch, I believe. There you go. Okay. Got a question for you, Roger. What's that? These things fit perfectly in the corner before, with four tiles around. Why wouldn't you use them that way? Uh, if you leave them laying there flat, L, uh, you're going to grout over them, and then it's going to leave a um, little open spot in there. A little weak spot. It, yeah, a weak spot, and that grout is probably going to come out of there in time. That's why we lay them up on top, so when we grout, we can pull them out. So yeah, Al, do you have a minute? Sure, what's the problem? Well, we're running into this curve. I laid these middle ones so we can get our distance to it and I'll clean this mortar out of there. Okay, you Roger. You think you can cut that one? Yeah, it's not a big problem. Okay. What we have to do is lay it in here and then mark it. We can see where the curve comes around here. So we'll just carry the line on around and I'll go in and trim it off. Now, when you're gonna make curve cuts, you're gonna probably do better using a saw that's a dry saw instead of the wet saw that we use, which was a lot easier on those straight cuts. Always wear your safety goggles when you're going to be doing any kind of cutting. Okay, Roger, I got this baby cut to fit. Okay, I got this mudded up for you. Okay. We'll see how it fits. Hey, that's pretty slick, isn't it? Looks nice. We're closing in on it now. As you can see, Roger is using a tool called a float, and he's working this grout into the grout lines. He covers the whole surface, but he's really aiming to fill in those grout lines. 
Now when we get uh, done with that, I'm going to come back with a sponge and clean it up a little bit. And then as the sheen leaves, I'm going to come back with wet rags and take care of that. Now we chose gray grout because we wanted to match what we have over here on the patio. But there are a whole bunch of them that you can choose from. What you need to do is pick out the one that's going to accentuate your tiles and it'll look great, believe me. Well our sidewalk is finished and I bet you think it is a great looking sidewalk. We really do think so. Now it has been labor intensive, a lot of hard work, but that's a good thing because that means if you supply the labor, you're going to save a lot of money over having the pros come out and do it.